Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the new topic that is angular routing. So we have switched, we have shifted back onto a new topic. Signals is completed. So now we will try to see about the angular routing. So let's try to understand the, we'll see here how we'll set up angular routing step by step. So I will create a new project and in this project, we'll try to create the angular routing step by step. First, let's try to understand step by step guide for angular routing with an example we'll see. First of all, we need to create an angular application with routing. So for that one, what you will try to do? So the, as usual, so I have already created it. So if you want, if you don't have an angular CLI, let's create this angular CLI using the command npm install at the rate angular slash CLI at the rate latest hyphen hyphen global. So that the uh, version, whichever the version is there, so it will be installed the latest version. So right now it has been installed at the time of this recording. When I try to check the version ng hyphen hyphen version, I'm able to see that 18.2.8. So if you want to check it means you can check it directly ng hyphen hyphen version. You can able to check the version for this one or otherwise you can check the like this also you can check it. I think ng version I didn't remember exactly. So yeah, angular CLA version. So right now the angular has been installed is 18.2.8. So that is the latest version at the time of this recording I have installed it. So fine. So now for creating the angular new project. So you need to use something like ng new angular routing or something like that. whatever the project name you want to give you can give it uh, i have already created a new project with the name angular 18 hyphen routing so now let's try to go one by one so after this command what i will do ng new this command will create a new angular application with the name angular 18 hyphen routing so i already created angular cla will ask whether you want to add angular routing or not so you can answer with this or something like that and it will ask and it will also ask you which style sheet format you want it you can choose this ASS for simplicity so after running the command it will generate the folder structure for your angular project including the routing module also so let's try to see it so now i have already opened the project here so let's try to go one by one so i will i will uh, increase some font size so that you people can able to see it so fine so now we are in this reading right so let's try to create two two components so a routing requires at least two components to navigate between them. So you can create them using the following commands like ng generate component and I will be using first. So you can also use in the shorthand version something like gc. So you can use something like g for generate, c for a component and I am creating another one second. So these two, these two components I am creating. These commands create two components, first component and also a second component. The CLI will automatically generate the necessary files like HTML, CSS, TypeScript for each component. If you check the folder structure, you will see that components are created in the source slash app slash first and second directories. Okay, you will be able to see it. So fine. So now normally in Angular application, the base href is the important thing. So here the base href is slash is the important thing. It tells Angular where to load resources like routes and assets. By default, it should look like this base href is equal slash something like this. So if the tag is missing or incorrect means routing may not work properly as Angular might not know the base URL of your application. So this is one of the important thing which you need to do it. So fine. So importing your components into the routing module, the next step. So now if you need to, <coughs> now you need to configure the routing. Angular's routing system is handled by defining routes in an array and passing it to your routing configuration. So for that one, what you can check it is in our app.routes.ts file. So this is the app.routes.ts file and import the components you just created. So now you need to define the routes here. So how we can define the routes is, so here I will write it first and I will explain you. So path is equal to, so I will write it as a first component and I will be loading the component, the first component, okay. In the same scenario, I can have it something like second component. Okay, the, so I will be loading the second component. So this is the routing. <coughs> So here we are defining two routes here. One of one of the one for the first component at the URL path slash first component and other for the second component at the path second component. Now when the user navigates to slash first component means or second component, the respective component will be displayed. So now we have created the routes. So Angular CLA typically sets up the route routes for you in the app.config.ts file. So now if you have installed it, automatically Angular will define the routes for you. So here if you try to see provide router of routes. So if you have installed it manually, something like that means, so you need to provide in the providers, you need to provide this provide router and the routes that is nothing but the app dot routes, which you have imported it. So we need to configure it. So now this one is finished. 
So the next step, what we need to do it is we need to add the links to the components in the template. To allow the users to navigate between the components, you need to provide links. These links should be added in the app.component.html file. So fine, let's go to the app.component.html file. I'll be removing this one all. So here I will write Angular, Angular Router App. And here I'll be having the navigation. Okay. And here I can have one UL. And here I can have LI. I will explain you each one by one. So here, Router link is equal to so it should be something like slash first component okay and here you can have router link active is equal to active and here i can write first and the another one is the same thing so but this time you will be having the second component and here i will be having the second so that's it this is the template so now here what I have did is I have used this router link directive creates navigation links to the routes and here router link active directive adds the class active whenever the route is active. So that means whenever the user clicks on this link or whenever the user navigated to this path means so the class active will be added to this one so that you can apply the CSS for that one and you will need to add in another one that is nothing but router outlet. Okay, so this is also one of the important thing. And it is a placeholder where Angular will display the component that matches the current route. So wherever the, ma the route matches, matches means that component will be loaded in the place of the route outlet. So now we have finished this one all. Since this application is using the standalone components, that is a new feature in Angular 18, we need to add some necessary imports in the app component. So we need to modify the app.component.ts file also. So this is our thing. And here what we need to do it is we need to add some concepts. Route outlet is already added. So now we need to add the common module. I will like to explain you this one all. Common module and also we need to add router link. And also we need to add the router link active also. These are the directives, right? So we need to add router link active. That's it. So now here we have added router outlet, router link and router link active are necessary for routing to function properly. So we import them here. And the common module why we have used it is so in order to work for something like ng if and all those things if you want to make it work means then we need to use this common module fine so now we have completed the basic setup for this uh, angular routing application so what you need to do it is so you need to run the npm start and ng serve automatically the build will be done and where what you need to do it is you need to open the local host slash 4200 so like this it will be open so now what i can do it is so here if i try to click on this first so here you'll be able to see that first works. So here you'll be able to see the, the routing. So whichever the routing we have added, the routing is getting loaded. So we have successfully set up the Angular routing in this one. So this is the basic Angular app with routing enabled. So this is the introduction of this Angular routing. So this is the basic Angular routing, how we need to, how we can enable it. Hope you understood about this concept. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.